Hey everybody, this is Russ from Metro Game Core. Today we're gonna to talk about a subject that is kind of boring, but I'm gonna to try to make it at least a little bit interesting. And so today we're gonna to talk about different chargers and what may be the best for you and your current situation. Now, if you've ever purchased any of the many retro handhelds that are available today, you might find that it is a little bit hard to figure out how to charge them. Number one, the majority of them will not come with a charging brick, just a USB-C cable. Beyond that, many of them won't even come with a manual or the device itself won't say anything about what you're supposed to charge it with. Well, it turns out this part is actually pretty easy because all they're expecting out of this is going to be a 5 volt 1 amp charge. And this is the type of charging output that you will usually get from something like an old iPhone charger like this. And so if you have any of these old charging bricks laying around from an old phone, these will work just fine with just about any retro handheld. In addition, most of these will also work with a 10 watt charger, one that is rated for 5 volts and 2 amps. These are usually used with some smaller tablets, but they will also provide the correct signal for most handhelds as well. Now, if you don't already have one laying around, it's pretty easy to get one of these charging bricks as well. For example, here's a three pack of them here on Amazon for less than $10. And so at the end of the day, if you already have one of these charging bricks laying around and you have one of these other retro handhelds, it should be a good fit. Another easy way to charge these retro handhelds is to just use your computer. If you plug that USB-C port directly in there, it'll usually give it the correct amount of juice. So essentially, if your device does not specifically say that it works with fast charging, then you're going to want to use something like these two bricks here. Now recently, charging bricks have evolved a lot, and so many of them are more capable today. And so next, let's talk about these two right here, which I would consider to be in a a mid range of capability. Now, the leftmost one here is called Ace Fast, and I've done a video that has featured that before. I'll leave it linked in the video description. And as you can see by how beat up it is, I use this one all the time. Now, this one is capable of two different power outputs. In addition to having a USB A out, which is the same 5 volt 1 amp as the iPhone charger we were just looking at, it also has a USB C port, which is capable of giving out 60 watts or 20 volts and 3 amps. And so in addition to being able to charge your typical retro handheld, it can also charge something that is capable of fast charging. And the other thing that I really like about it too is that it is also capable of HDMI out. And so essentially this one can be used as a charging solution, but then also as a dock if you have a device that is capable of giving video out via USB-C. And so that means it can be used with something like the Nintendo Switch or a handheld PC, which I'll show here in a minute. And the pricing on this one's a little bit higher, it's $50 altogether, but I really like it just because it does so many functions in one. For example, here I have it hooked up to my Steam Deck, but then also my 8-bit Doe wireless controller. And so not only will this charge and stream the video directly from the Steam Deck to the monitor, but then it also charges the controller when it's hooked up to the dock, and then the dock itself powers the 2.4 gigahertz dongle as well. And so essentially with one charging brick, I'm able to charge my Steam Deck, charge my controller, connect my controller to my Steam deck and then also provide video out to my monitor. And so essentially this one charging brick can do many of the same features that are found in the Steam Deck dock but in a smaller form factor. Now unfortunately by virtue of being a 65 watt total charge output it can't do every little thing. For example, with the iNeo 2, it can power the device, but it doesn't have enough juice to also supply the video out capability. And so I would say, yes, this brick is going to do really well with something like the Steam Deck, but not with some of those heftier handheld PCs like the iNeo 2. But as I mentioned before, this is one of the most used charging bricks that I have in the house. I find it super convenient to charge most of my devices and then also have that video out capability all in one. So if you want to see more about this one, I'll leave that other video linked in the video description below. Okay, let's talk about this next one here. This is by a company called Anchor. And like the one we just looked at, this is a 65 watt charger that has three different outputs for power. It has two USB-C ports and then one USB-A port. And the pricing on this one is not so bad right now. It's actually $60, but with a $14 coupon, so $46 altogether. When I bought mine earlier this year, I think it was around $70, so this is a pretty good deal. So one thing to bear in mind is that it has a 65 watt total charging output. So the amount of power that you're gonna get per port is gonna depend on how many different things you have plugged in. For example, if you only have one thing plugged into USB-C, then yes, it's gonna give 65 watts. However, once you start plugging in multiple things, that'll affect the charging output significantly. And this is where it can get a little bit complex, and so they have a little charging guide here on their website. And so rather than try to chart out all of your different potential charging options, let me show you some practical application here first. 
Number one, like I mentioned, you know, it does provide 65 watts out if it's the only thing plugged in. And so, for example, with the Aya Neo 2, which comes with a 65 watt charging brick, yeah, it also charges this one too. However, if I plug in something like the Odin Light, then that does change the paradigm. What it does at that point is gives 20 watts to the secondary USB-C and then 45 to the primary. So 20 watts is plenty enough to charge the Odin Light, but 45 is not enough for the Aya Neo 2. And so unfortunately in this particular setup, you would not be able to charge the Odin as well as the Aya Neo 2 at the same time. But it would work well with something like the Steam Deck, which only requires 45. And so at the end of the day, when it comes to this anchor charging port, what I like most about it is the small size. And I do think it works well if you only have one or two things to charge in, but if you have two high power devices you want to charge at the same time, this one usually doesn't work out so well. And so between this one and the Ace Fast one with the HDMI out, I tend to use the Ace Fast one more. And that actually leads us to the next one I want to talk about here. This one is called the Nexode from a company called Ugreen. And they recently sent this one out for me to test, and I've been really impressed with it. Number one, it has a total power delivery of 140 watts. That's easily the most powerful brick that I've used to date. And this one has a good amount of functionality to it as well. It has two different USB-C ports as well as a USB-A port. Now the starting price on this is $120, but I was told that starting today, if you go to the Amazon website for one week, they're going to have it listed for $101 instead. And so I'll also leave a link to that in the video description below. Now primarily, I think this is geared more towards being a laptop charger, but obviously we're going to stick with retro handhelds in this video here. My guess is that Ugreen wanted to send it out because the Steam Deck has become so popular, and this seems to be a really good fit for that as well. It's going to be of no surprise, but if you use this as a charging brick for the Steam Deck dock, it's going to work just fine. And so of course it's going to provide the 45 watts necessary to power the Steam Deck, and it's also powering the USB dongle that I'm using to connect with my controller. But here's the crazy thing about this whole setup. In addition to doing all of that powering, it has no problem also charging my Aya Neo 2 at the same time. And so in addition to the 45 watts it's providing to the Steam Deck dock, it's giving an additional 65 watts to the Aya Neo. And so I think this is probably the main strength of having a nice big charging brick like this. You can basically just charge everything at once. For example, here I'm charging the Odin Lite as well as the Aya Neo 2, and then I can also use the USB-A port to charge something smaller like the Ambernic RG300X. This is one of those devices that only works with a 5 volt and 1 amp charge. In addition, there are some mini PCs that use a USB USB-C port for their power input. And that would be a great example for these use cases as well. For example, here is the Minis Forum UM560, which I reviewed previously on this channel. And I'm able to power the entire PC using that same charging brick. And so for me, this would be a great charging solution if I was going to be going on travel and I didn't want to bring a bunch of bricks at once. Not only would it be able to charge just about everything I could throw in my luggage, including this mini PC if I brought it, but I could charge many of them at the same time. But that being said, you know, paying $100 for a charging brick does seem to be a little bit outrageous. It's not necessarily that $100 for a 140 watt charging brick is too expensive because that's the going rate for them right now. It's really going to come down to whether or not the convenience of having one brick that can do it all is going to be worth that much to you. And so in the end, I would say yes, this is a very good charging brick, one of the best that you could buy today. And it is pretty cool to have a nice high quality charger like this that can do everything for every device. But I would say if the chargers that already came with your devices are working out fine, it may not be worth that $100 investment. It's really going to come down to your use case and whether or not you need something travel friendly like this. And so at the end of the day, what do I really recommend here? Well, I think when it comes to these smaller charging bricks, you may want to invest in something a little bit better. For example, all three of these other charging bricks that I just showed off all have that same USB-A power delivery that can charge any retro handheld at the same time. And so while I appreciate that the low powered charging bricks are still nice and cheap, I also think it's nice to have the additional benefits of having some of those higher end chargers. And it's also nice to be able to future proof your charging solution in case you get other devices in the future. And so I think when it comes down to that $50 tier, I do prefer the one from Acefast more than the other one from Anchor. And of course, like I mentioned a couple times already, it all comes down to that HDMI out functionality. The Anchor one is nice and compact and it has those two USB-C ports, but the fact that the power gets distributed between these three different ports means that with the beefier handheld PCs, you can only charge them one at a time anyway. Meanwhile, if you're looking for something that is an all-in-one solution that can charge multiple devices at once, and is also top of the line, which means it's going to work for many years to come, then I think the Ugreen one is a great bet too. Just keep in mind that it does come with a comparatively higher price point. Anyway, that's really about it for this video here. I did not expect to be talking this much about different charging bricks, but I hope you enjoyed it anyway. 
So let me know in the comments below, what do you use for your charging solutions for your various handhelds? And what would you recommend for others to try out as well? As always, thank you for watching and be sure to like and subscribe if you found this helpful and we will see you next time. Happy gaming.